year. Um, my goal is just to keep be active, right? Just to do my steps. And I had set a goal to close a certain a certain amount of people after coming back from conference. And last week, within 24 hours, I guess I closed three contracts. Great job. Great job. That is, that's how you kick off the beginning of, uh, of, the, of the next uh, power calendar year, if I could put it that way. Congratulations, Kathy. That's amazing. Thank you, Don. All right. Who's next? Kathy, Kathy, you really did. You, you, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Well, and Wally, it was because of our, you know, I am always so uptight. Even um, I was told by uh, Jeff that I just, I'm always so uptight. So Wally and me talked and you gave me some really powerful advice. So then when I went into those meetings, I just said, you know what, God, let's, let's do this. And even though I wouldn't, these were like follow-up appointments, I'm just now just being myself. You know, I'm not trying to be Wally. I'm not trying to be Don. I'm just trying, I'm just being me. And mm. that's really helping me be a little bit more comfortable in my meetings. Great. Good Great. That's so so not only do we have progress in terms of uh of uh measurable contracts, so we had progress in terms of personal development. And that's equally as important. Without the personal development, the contracts don't come, right? You you just basically just said that. Um, and so that's that's a great point. Great job. And I appreciate you being uh being opest and open and honest with yourself to start with, and then honest with the rest of us, open and sharing. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Uh, who else uh who else had some progress this week? Set a goal and went and got it. Um, let's let's keep up the energy in in terms of that, in terms of that. Who who's next? Go ahead, Tara. You're muted. I signed up two new ambassadors, so. Hey, great. Yeah. There you go. Fantastic job. Uh, building that pipeline. Um, okay, good job. Who's next? I'm going to go next. Go ahead, Ken. <clears throat> Well, this I didn't go to the conference, but I still set some goals. Um, I think a big accomplishment this week, and I've been working with John Pierre uh, on this. We had um, the goal I set was to turn around a couple of people that uh, looked they were heading in a different direction, and they were, and so I was able to uh, get enough courage to call somebody back that was in a different direction. And matter of fact, they already signed the contract with Sonova. Mm -hmm. uh, got on the phone, asked him why, told him, you know, kind of sold Jean-Pierre a little more, uh, edified him. Uh, we turned it around yesterday and we got the deal. So that Good was a little fear that overcame and a little goal not to let it go. And uh, we managed, managed to do that. There you go. Great job. Great my job. One, my one for this week is to actually go out and, and knock on doors instead of hiding on the phone. There you go. Okay, I made a commitment. Ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody's going to have to I hold them accountable to that. Somebody make a note. Next week, we're going to have to ask Ken if he did, if he docked on any doors and how it went. <laughs> All right. Hey, Don, every time, Don, every time you do this, I think you're raising your hand to go next, and it catches my eye every time. <laughs> uh, but you can go ahead, go next, since I just called on you. Yeah, I can go. Um, so I have um, going into, I've, I've been very intentional um, going into the convention. Um, I had a lot of uh, specific intentions. Uh, felt like the convention was geared um, specifically for me. Uh, coming out of it had the same intentions, but a, a bit more um, urgency around it. Mm -hmm. And um, I have to kind of, uh, as a lot of you know, I'm, uh, I took some time off of solar after almost 10 years of um, just crushing everything that I could crush. <laughs> uh, took a little break. Um, coming back into it, um, I'm going to be running and I'm going to be closing 
Um, I plan on closing quite a few deals over the next about six months. Um, that requires a lot of reconstructing my life into a different um, uh, path so I can run. Um, it's like you, you, you can't go from uh, sitting to a full sprint um, without yep. clearing some uh, debris, uh, making sure obstacles are clear so you can run, run, run. Um, so already started, uh, not already, I'm almost complete with that clearing. I have a bunch of um, trainings that I have to catch up on um, in order to be able to sell um, everything that there is to sell. Um, almost done with that. And uh, I've set up my life in a way that um, I can uh, do full sprinting. So um, yeah. things just about done. And by the end of this week, I will should have a couple contracts signed and we'll be rocking and rolling. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Uh, I right, go ahead, Dr. Tim, and then we'll go to you, Linda, after right after that. Okay. Uh, yeah, in that um, ultimate game of life, uh, the main thing I accomplished was uh, my environment, moving all my wife's embroidery stuff into a she shed. And so uh, I'm regrouping with Ron Maurer. I don't know if he's on the call uh, to be my accountability partner. So we're kind of starting all over again. And uh, it, it's really helped just to be able to track things, make those commitment to do those three actions in each group. And uh, so far, it's definitely working. Good. Good. Good job. Clearing things out again, getting restructured, ready to go. Linda, you're up next. Go ahead. All right. So um, while at convention, I got news of a devastating death in our in our family and it was on the last day of the the event and um it just brought my world down mm -hmm. and so um i it, with all that energy and everything i took out of there it was like this weight on me and so i've taken the last week to just deal with that yeah and now i am taking my energy that i know this person would want me to do and moving my business forward. I love what Bobby is doing with educating children or just helping, teaching them to be the change a instead of focusing on climate change. Here's how we can combat it. So I have my first appointment set up with the principal of a school district that there's 47 schools in. And, um, I was referred to her by a, a teacher that I just put solar on his home and he loves it and he can't say enough great things about it. So I'm using that as the catalyst to start this process. And um, and I'm just using, putting this tragedy behind me and doing what I know this person would love to see me doing, which is what I do best. And that's this. Well, we... So, we're sorry for your loss. Um, okay. I don't know that very many of us in here knew you were going through that, or we would have reached out to try to be as much of a company as we could. To okay. quote Kathy over here, hugs from all of us, right? And heck, Kathy just dropped that into the, the chat line. But uh, if there's anything we can do to support you on that side, then please don't hesitate to reach out and let, let us. But don't be afraid to take the time necessary to grieve. Uh, but as you've said now, refocus some of that energy into things that uh, that are going to move forward. So we're here to support you on both sides of that. Let us know what we can do. All right. Thank you very we love much. you, Linda. Thank you. Um, all right. Linda, Linda, you're up. All. <laughs> hey, morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, seems like collectively we're focusing towards the same thing. Um, I also want to just acknowledge um, all the ladies in, in the room on this Zoom Um seems to be growing more and more and more. Thank you for taking the the step towards uh, being a contributor into this uh, environment, the space. Uh, I'm also going to be having an expo. I got invited to be part of a, a high school expo. It's pretty large here in Merced, you know, to talk about the kids. So, so you know, about alternative um, job opportunities after high school, because a lot of them don't want to continue, you know, their education but they're looking towards uh, alternatives so definitely got to invite it for that excited that it's going to be taken next month in october 
So I'm working on that. Yeah. So any feedback um, that you guys can send to me, greatly appreciate it. Any ideas so I can kind of work around that so I can give the most back to them. Yeah. All right. Chris. Uh, howdy, everybody. Calling in from Colorado. Uh, hey, the win for us is I was chatting with Curtis. We have our enterprise. I met a ton of you guys out at a convention. It was really awesome. And uh, we've decided to uh, to hijack your call. No, not hijack. We're gonna uh, we're gonna stow away on your on your guys' call. We found that a lot of us are doing the same thing, and there's a lot of talent, and we're all just kind of cooking the same cake twenty times over. We figured maybe just have one oven and a couple chefs, and uh, we could all bake a cake together. So we've uh, we've uh, decided to. Uh, to tag along on your guys' group, we have a couple of our team members. As everybody gets into flow, I sent out about, oh, I don't know, 40 invitations. So we hope to be uh, uh, valuable contributors to your guys' call and wanted to thank you all for allowing us to join in. And uh, we're here for you for your Colorado needs. When uh, yesterday with Joel, we had our Joel's first uh, sale. He's going to be moving up to tier two now. He's a solar professional. So congrats to Joel on his sale landing a Subaru dealership on the commercial side. And we just finished up a building for 287 kilowatts onto uh, the rest of our megawatts. So really busy out here in Colorado. We appreciate all you guys, all your phenomenal leadership, Don, Wally, all you guys. Thanks for letting me wear your coat, Wally. I guess I still owe you a buck. So uh, give me your address. I'll mail it out to you. Anyhow, we love you guys. Thanks for allowing us to join on. All right. Glad to have you with us, Chris. Glad to have your crew joining in, jumping in. Uh, always glad to have uh, as, as uh, we are part of the same team, right? We're all on, we're all here together. So glad to have you uh, as well. Welcome to each of you guys and congratulations. Um, personal win for myself. I set a couple of different goals. I'm now 10 days into it. And my goal is pretty simple. I wanted to close uh, whether they were my own personals or whether they were um, mentor contracts. It didn't matter to me. They were irrelevant as far as which of which, but my goal was to have two contracts and then two uh, two new team members, two new recruits per week. I uh, accomplished that goal last week. I did the two and two. This week, I'm already at one and one. And I've got uh, literally three people that have reached out to me that I should be adding to the team this week, at least one of them. Um, and um, I've got a contract that should close this afternoon. So I should have this week's goal accomplished by today with the opportunity to get ahead for the rest of the week and, and plug in towards, uh, towards next. So... My goal of two and two um, gives me 100 with two weeks off for vacation at some point to be able to take the time with my family and get away. So um, those are my goals. Ordered a new calendar. Got a 16-month calendar that started in September. Uh, ordered it yesterday. It's out for delivery right now. It can help me keep track of those things starting September, moving all the way around to all the way through next calendar year so that I can track things very, very easily um, on, on paper right in front of me. Um, so a little bit of reorganization as far as that's concerned. Um, I hate having papers in front of me, but a calendar like that will help me. Um, putting it on my phone sometimes makes it a little harder to go back and look at, right? So putting it there invisible is is good for me. Um, but that's that. We'll give time. Does anybody else want to hop onto this uh this uh the wins, what's going on, the energy from last week, where they're going, what their goals are for this week, maybe? If not, we'll turn it over to CJ here in just a second. Let, let me add something. Go ahead, Wally. Um, I got a couple of wins. I, to, to me, you know, a sale or getting a new ambassador or getting a mentor lead, it's, it, it comes, you know, it comes daily. But coming out of convention, uh, I, I really put some thought into trying to build a team, or at least try to put more people into my, into my team. And um, you, you guys see the work I've been doing in social media. Uh, my Facebook page, everybody knows. Remember at, at convention, I told you guys, if people don't know you're selling solar, then you're not doing it right. Everybody should know you're selling solar. And now people know that I'm not just selling solar. I'm, I'm hiring, I'm training people how to do solar. That's part of my social media messaging. So this week, um, in the last three days, I had I signed up one, one, uh, one enterprise. And he's, he's going to be big. He, he's got a call center. And he's already been in solar for seven, eight years, been dicking around with, with, you know, with different EPCs and been looking to power. And he saw me, he said, I'm going to join you. So he's signed up as an enterprise. I also had three people reach out to me to become um, 
to become uh, tier ones. Two of those I signed already. One of them I gave to to one of the people on my team, to Milton from South Carolina. I, I told the guy, Milton, you better, I told Milton, you and this guy were better doing it together instead of me because you're local. So Milton called me yesterday. They're in the same car. And they were talking to me that, that they, were, they met and he's going to sign up. So, and then I I got three new leads from ambassadors that, that I signed up over the weekend when I went to a family event. So the 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 point I just wanted to make, put out to everyone is at convention, I, I mentioned to everybody that your friends and family, everybody you know, must know you are selling solar. If they don't know you're selling solar, then you're doing yourself a very big disservice. So fill your Facebook with, I'm selling solar. I'm training people. Put, put all your success stories. Even if you don't have a sale, put a post that says, I just built this, you know, this uh, 50 panel system and this homeowner is going to say $200,000. Even if it's not a sale yet, just put it out there. Just let people know what the benefits are. So that's that's my win. I'm going to let you guys go on. I'm, um, the other win I wanted, I wanted to do personally is um, I need to get back on track because I'm so busy packing my house. <laughs> Uh, Don knows he spent the night here, but my house is just filled with stuff that we need to pack for the Philippines. And that's what my wife's doing. She's calling me. I need to get back there. So we uh, we're packing our house, and I I it's it's so disorganized to you know to not be able to work. Um, uh, you know, so I want to finish the packing. I want to get out, be in the Philippines, and be working again on a regular schedule. So those are my win, guys. Make sure people know you're on social media. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a team building kind of guy. I'm more of a direct sales kind of guy, but you know, if I can get a couple of members under my team, you know, why not? Right. Right, Don. Exactly. I told, I told Wally, um, you know, you have such an amazing ability to train people and inspire people. Um, it, it's, it's so nice to pour into people. Um, and I know Wally's kind of like, uh, basically retired, um, but on his, on his path out of, into, uh, retirement, um, he's, I know he's going to pour into some people and, and create some amazing, amazing stories and, and then be able to watch that just go on forever, uh, with or without him putting efforts in. So super excited about that. Well, like congratulations. All right. Great job. Um, Rick, we'll go to you and then we'll turn it over. CJ, as soon as Rick is done, we'll turn it over to you. Thanks guys. Hello, everybody. Hey, I just had a quick request. Uh, I've got a friend that uh, has a sister in California, and she needs to get power of attorney to get her out of a, uh, a situation. Is any anyone in California that could help me after the meeting? Just some questions on how that works. I'm not sure who lives in Cali anymore. I'm sorry. What was the question? Uh, I I need to get a power of attorney for for a friend of mine so she can uh, work with her sister. And from, I was told from somebody out there that they both have to be present in front of a notary together to get it. I thought you could go individually to a, to a notary and get it signed. But each state has different laws. That's why I was wondering if anybody knew what the deal was out there. Where well, they are they in California, Rick? Yeah, San Diego. Okay. Reach out. Give Reach you out a call to afterwards. afterwards. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Felipe Thanks. and Rick, I'll let you guys connect in the chat, kind of uh, kind of send numbers or whatever back together if you need to, and then connect there afterward. Um, great. Thanks, guys. Kind of go from that direction. Uh, CJ, I lost you. CJ still here? Yeah, I'm still here. All right. We'll turn it over to you, my friend. I just wanted to recap uh, something that you were saying, Chris. You ordered a 16 month calendar. And uh, one of the things that has always been present in my corporate sales positions has been a week by week calendar. So last week in my mind and on my paper, last week was week number one. Sunday completed week number one of 52 weeks. It's approximately one year until we're in Orlando for the next power conference. A lot of us took an X pill, a purple pill at the conference. But before we took that that placebo, because we are the placebo, we had 
questions of what we're going to cut out of our life, what we're going to put into our life, what we're going to do, what goals we want to hit, what distractions pop up all the time. One of the first things that that I did after convention was said, okay, this is week one, like day one. I start today fresh. Um, we have a little reading group. We're going through the 10 scrolls of Og Mandino, which are 10 habits to build. And each week, each day, we begin anew. Doesn't matter what happened yesterday. Your victory and your loss are the same. Um, your successes and your failures appear the same. Every day is new. So I suggest if you're into this, join our little reading group. We're on scroll number three, which means I will persist until I succeed. These are all things that Wally says, man. All 10 of these habits that we're learning as a team, my little group, like tiny little reading group. Also, just match that with uh, week one. We're in week number two now. We're on Tuesday of week number two. Next week will be week number three. What Kathy did week number one was almost matched her number of sales for the previous 50 some weeks because she got inspired. She found her own voice. She didn't learn anything new. Like I talked to Kathy yesterday in our office hours. She had all the pieces of the puzzle, but being with Wally and Don and a, and a group of people kind of pulled all of the pieces together and Kathy found her voice. So I don't have anything for training other than conversation stuff today. Like have more conversations or limit your conversations and focus on a couple conversations with people that can become an ambassador, with people that can uh, send you a utility bill so you can save them headache in the future. Um, this whole thing, Jeff Martin trained us that the number one thing in this business is collecting a utility bill. And I agree with that. And I'm going to put one thing, an and on top of that. Both and. Collect a utility bill and have conversations. And I would reverse those. Have conversations that can lead you to a utility bill. So what uh, I'm really happy that Chris's team is on this call now because we were duplicating a lot of these calls throughout the week. What we're focused on for September 30th is an eight hour immersive. We call it the uh, lead factory. It's an in-person event in Denver, Colorado. We got a couple people flying in from Utah and Idaho to join. It's a free event. Bring $15 for food because we're not leaving the office. We're, we're in it for eight hours and we are going to break down conversation skills leading to a utility bill, leading to a presentation. And our expectation for everybody on these calls is that you hit your goal because success is measured by a progressive realization towards your worthy ideal. Set your goal, divide that by your 50 weeks like Chris did. He's given himself two weeks off and understand that we're in the beginning of week number two. So you may have to adjust your goals depending on the week. Kathy may adjust her goals higher or lower, but literally out of the gate, Kathy did not learn any new skills. She found her voice. She got confident and she slammed three deals last week. And I think she has two more that are pretty close. If Kathy continues at three deals a week, Kathy will have exceeded last year's number one sales rep on the power platform. And then I, I just have one question for Wally, if he's still on here. Wally, you still on here? I'm here. Hey, man, you're an amazing individual, and you've helped way more of us than you might even know. With your Friday night phone calls and your inspiration and your clarity and your reading suggestions. But can I ask you a very easy question? Sure. In the morning, when you wake up, and you get dressed, how do you put your pants on? One leg at a time. That's exactly how I do it, Wally. Uh -huh. And I'll bet everybody on this call does it the same way. If we wanna hit Wally 
numbers and Wally joy and that smile, we just have to do one thing at a time and do it over and over again and get really good at it. Like Wally, Wally's a pro at probably 10 different things that he he's accumulated through putting his pants on one leg at a time, reading books that help him improve his skills. And I want to, I want to make one point really evident. We did a little roundup of our two teams after the convention ended on Saturday night. The first thing that Wally said was I'm going to continue to learn and uh, progress my skills in solar. I'm going to learn from all of you. Like Wally, you constant learner. Every once in a while, we need a, a voice of faith. You've been that voice of faith to a lot of us. And my suggestion is just exiting this little part of my, my part of this call. You already have. Anybody listening to this call, you're already present. You already have a communication device in your hand that is a personal directory. Most people look at their phone as a personal directory for the numbers in their phone. But if you extend what that directory is, it's a social media directory, it's a photography directory, you post pictures, it's a Google search where you can find locations and navigation and Ubers. Your personal directory in your hands can lead you to heights unknown if you just practice easy, comfortable conversations enough. And we could all uh, be on stage next year in Orlando with Wally again. Wally, you'll probably have a $2 million jacket on the way you're going right now. Uh, but I'd love to see everybody on this call on stage. Everybody on this call has everything that they need to succeed at high levels in solar within them right now. What I would suggest is just get clear, get scheduled, get organized. And if that doesn't work, call Wally. Email Wally because he's got he's 14 hours ahead of us, guys. Next so <laughs> reach out to some of us. Yeah. But uh, I love the whole crew, and I'm really glad that we have a bigger team come, coming to these calls. Uh, that's all I got for today, man. I, I, I got two real quick things. Uh, first of all, I did this mastermind video um, with uh, Aaron Browning. If you, if you guys haven't seen it, you have to watch this video. He he's so awesome at pulling things out that I never expected to give so much information. So it basically became a closing mastermind video. You, I put the video in the link. So copy it, save it, and just uh, bookmark it and keep watching it over and over again. Um, and then going back to, because I won't, it's probably going to be a while before I get to see all you guys again. And if you see me smiling, you know, my face is smiling. It's really about not, not dealing with stress. So stress to me is a feeling that you're not in control. And you will never be in control. No one is ever in control. Let's do that. So you guys know how you know the saying, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Exactly. That's how you do it. Like Kathy was overwhelmed with so much stuff, you know, just do one thing and finish it. Then just keep jumping to the next one. So to, when the conversation I had with Kathy, and um, I just want to make a real quick thing on this, is that... Um, I was dealing, leading a stressful life, and this is not something I've shared to a lot of people, except with Kathy and a few others. And the reason this, I was trying to control everything. I was running a, a shooting magazine, 80,000 subscribers. There's just a lot of stress. And I was trying to control everything in my calendar, like you guys. And it came to a point where I, I realized that um, even with all this, I was never in control. No matter what I do, I was never in control. And the only person that, that's in control is really my fate. They said, God's in control of everything. So I, what I told Kathy, this is my lifestyle now. I wake up every day. I wake up every day. Hi, Sherry. I wake up every day and I say, thank you, God, for another beautiful day, a chance to do something else. Do some good today. I offer this day to you. So I offer the day to God. And then I do everything. I say, I promise to do everything today to the best of my ability. Now, I mentioned this to you guys. If my ability, if I'm sick and I'm only 70% able, I still offer 100% of that 70% to God and do everything to the best of my ability today. That's all we can do, right? You can't do more than what your ability is. Do everything to the best of your ability. Now, at the end of the day, whatever happens, I know I did everything to the best of my ability. I don't sulk. 
because I'm only physically able to do what I can, men mentally able. Then I sit down before I go to bed and I say, thank you, God, for a beautiful, for everything you gave me today, whatever it was. Even if you gave me just one, it gave me a thousand. Thank you for whatever you gave me today. And then I go to sleep, sleep. I sleep well. I don't stress because I know there's nothing I can do while I'm sleeping anyway, right? <laughs> so you just sleep, just sleep, rest. When you wake up, do the same thing. Thank you, God, for a beautiful day. I offer everything to you. And, and I do everything to the best of my ability today. So that's my cycle. That's how you live a stressful life. I, the realization that I am not in control is the one thing that blew everything away from me. So that to me is the way I run my life. I had this conversation with Kathy and I'm very glad that I was able to pull her out of her, you know, out of her emotional funk or whatever you call it. But that's how you live life, guys. Just enjoy life and then just keep smiling. When you're doing going on Zoom, this is the smile that sells it. You know, so you, when people see your energy, they want to talk to you. And, and that's all it is. So I won't be able to see you guys. I, I hope to jump in once in a while, but I'll be a 16-hour time zone again. But if you need me for anything, just don't call me because my phone will always not answer because so many phone calls. Text me. Send me an email, fa Facebook message me, and uh, I'll be more than happy to you know to have you know, sh share input, sh share ideas with you guys and and insights. But the the and one last thing, subscribe to my Facebook page, all of you. I, I need the, the the few cents to buy my coffee. It's it's just something that you know again it's part of the part of the part of the you know the package you know? and not Facebook page, uh, my YouTube channel. It's, I put it up there too, Wall World Islands and, and Kathy put it up. But anyway, I, I'm taking your time. I hope I was able to show you that, you know, this thing we're doing is real. Yeah. It's real, okay? And there's only one way to do this. Like I mentioned at the convention, uh, when Yoda was reaching Luke Skywalker, you know, how to race his star, starfighter out of the mud, you know, he was in training, you know. And Luke said, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And Yoda said, look, young Skywalker, there is no do or do not. There is no try. You do this or you don't. That's the only way you succeed. Don't go halfway and say, I'm going to do it part time. You know, I'm going to do it with half my brain. No, no, no. You put your intent into it and get it done. That's how this everything succeeds for you. So anyway, do or do not. There's no try. Let's go. Keep going. Let's go. Keep doing this. Thanks. Right. Chris, Thanks may, I, for may I share something? Um, yeah, go ahead, Felipe, and then we'll. I, I believe Jeff is home or very close to home. I know he's still on the call. We'll give him the opportunity to wrap things up at the end after you go. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, hey guys. Um, yeah, one thing that I I got from Curtis and and Wally right now, really, it's maybe is it is it is the industry difficult or is it that you're making it difficult? That you're just doing or steps that are not necessary for your success. And one thing that Wally's doing as he's waking up with stepping up with with his the power word and intention it's the same thing that it's all this book that uh curtis is, is talking about right now let me tell you a, sh a quick story about what happened to me in my prior company i was with i read the first chapter three times a day for 30 days i literally 20x my business that month it was a joke how i was getting deals every single multiple deals every single day and it wasn't that i was looking for it they were coming to me and that was has to do with the science of the x peel so if you if you take that book and you read it in the prescribed matter and it sinks into your unconscious you better be ready for what's coming to you because you're gonna get it but it has to be intentional it can be like half ass either you have faith that it's going to happen or you have faith that it's not and you're in the way but if you get out of the way with faith and you act as if the universe has not no other choice but to fulfill that space which you're opening for progress i want you to share that thank you all right appreciate that thank you felipe um Jeff, are you are you able to open up yet or no? Oh, there he is. There he is. He's coming on. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, 
Hey guys, sorry I'm on my phone. I uh, I had something prepared for this morning, and then my uh, my dog's allergies had other plans for all of us. Um, so we will do that next week. Uh, thank you guys for uh, for taking care of this while I was uh, while I was dealing with that. Let me try to get this set up. I haven't used Zoom on my phone in forever. You guys know I'm not a Zoomer. All right. So uh, good to see everybody. Good to see the uh, the other Colorado crew uh, coming here. Um, am I am I good for uh, for the next few minutes? Am I cutting somebody off? I haven't been able to hear very much. I've been on, but it's been in and out. No, it's you, Jeff. You go ahead, say what you got to say, and then wrap it up. You're the you uh, you have the, okay. the range for the rest of the time. Okay, sounds good. So I, I'm really glad. Um, one, did we acknowledge uh, Kathy's? What what Kathy's been awesome. Great job, Kathy King. Um, something that is that is great about events is is not just the event itself and not being able to you know see the floating Zoom heads in person and that they're real people and connect with each other, but it's the collaboration that happens post event. Um, you know, if if I'm redundant, just let me know, Chris. But so many of us in this company have teams where we're all doing the same thing, saying the same things, but it's just multiple hours throughout the week, which just one isn't, simple vision hack. Anyone? which just isn't, you know, really conducive for anybody from a time standpoint. So collaboration, figuring out what, what you like to do, how you like to operate others that are doing it very similar and connecting with them. It just reduces the learning curve for everybody and increases the speed. So, Glad to see uh, the new faces here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can't wait to uh, actually get to meet you over the next few weeks. Uh, but just a real quick, just a couple quick updates and a couple uh, final thoughts, because I know we don't have a ton of time and I want to do some Q&A. Um, SunGage, back on the platform. They've been having some issues. Anytime Solo adds something, you guys have heard me say for two and a half years, wait a week, there's going to be bugs, there's going to be glitches, just wait a week. So SunGage falls into that. I believe Everbright, after they had their issue, uh, is back on track and should be uh, caught up. So we should be good to go there with getting Everbrights back in a reasonable time. They started off behind the gun, but I know they've been digging their way out. Um, the automated welcome kit. And did you guys look over these welcome kits that are going out that you can select to automate? Um, and if anybody is using something that's not those and you're having success with it or you're getting good customer feedback, can you just post in the chat kind of what you're doing and maybe let's uh, kind of dig a little bit deeper on that next week. I know real estate agents are fantastic at leaving the, the handoff kit once they sell the home or, or move forward. Um, thank you, Felipe. I know that that's a, a really big area of opportunity for us. And I know a lot of people wait a little while uh, to ask for referrals. You know, Don, Felipe, Wally, myself, you know, we were kind of trained on the spot to start getting referrals. That way the installer doesn't have time to screw up your uh, referral getting process. Um, so if anybody's using anything they like, let's all share it with each other. Let's collaborate. You know, the, the better that we do in any market, pricing comes down. Labor partners get better. It's a win for everybody. Oh, John's here. What's up, John? Um, also, John's prop. John's a realtor out in California. I know he's got some good stuff for that, too. He's always dropping gifts and nuggets and presents. Good to see you, my friend. Um, and then I'll lastly, you, something that uh, that John's on as well, so this was a great kind of uh, interlude, is the play.power.com. Um, I saw Ron Maurer, who's always on top of it, put up a message about this. You guys go to play.power.com. Somebody put it in the chat and subscribe there. Anytime videos are being uploaded, added, you're going to get a notification. This is going to be basically like Power YouTube, where it's going to be a massive, massive library of 30 second to five minute trainings. Um, being asked specific questions to leaders and how they deal with it, tools they're using, things they're saying, you name it. So you can go in there. And again, this is kind of like crowdfunding everybody's ideas of what's been working for them and ask a question, get the answer, see what other people are saying. It might be something you love. Um, yes, Kathy, it is in the newsletter as well. But definitely you can go in there and you can subscribe to where you're going to get all the updates. You know, anything that's not necessarily 
right in the platform in front of our face is kind of easy to forget about. It kind of becomes out of sight, out of mind. So definitely make sure that you're subscribing to that so you know what's going on. And lastly, it wouldn't be controversial if I didn't say something to the uh, to the effect of that. But um, I'm going back and forth with Kathy last night and seeing just what she was able to do post-convention. Uh, you know, if, if, if we want to talk about the power of, of being in proximity and being in the room. Um, I mean, if that doesn't, if that doesn't say it all right there, I don't know what does. Um, I do see a lot of conversations I'm having post convention, and I don't want this to sound negative. I want you to hear everything I'm about to say, not just a piece of it. I'll probably offend some of you and that's okay because it's, it's the way that I feel and it's true. And if you have an issue, just message me directly. Ice baths are fantastic. Cold plunges are great. They're great for your body. There's no doubt about it. Breathing exercises, fantastic. I've done a few of those breathing things now. I feel like a million bucks. They are great. Um, reading a chapter a day of a, of a book, a page a day, a chapter a day, half a book a day, whatever you want to do. John and I talk about books all the time. Don and I talk about books. Books are fantastic. Um, podcasts. Podcasts are great. I think you guys are just talking about Wally was just on one. Tons of great value. Absolutely listen to these podcasts. Take your nuggets. Take your notes. Always be a student. Uh, daily affirmations. Wake up. I know CJ's got a few that he does. Most of the Colorado crew. Um, do those. Those are fantastic. I encourage you to do them. Diet changes. I clean mine up. I'm not drinking this nasty green stuff every morning because it tastes good. I'm doing it because I'm trying to feel better and have more energy. You know, me at 41, this I got a lot of I got a lot of miles on these tires from past decisions. So I have to do things at a, at a speed that some other people don't to, you know, take care of uh, things like bad decisions from the past, let's say. All of these things are great. Cleaning your office, cleaning your space. Uh, yeah, I know some people are getting offices now in these like shared places just to get out of their home to put themselves in a work mode. Everything I just mentioned is going to not hurt you. And it'll probably individually by themselves make you a little bit better. There's no doubt about it. Combine a few of those, you'll probably be even better and more on top of it. Do all of them and you're going to be a new person in 30 days. But none of these things get you a million dollar jacket, get you a larger team, get you more installs without action. I watch, There's, there's. this is like the downside of, of a ton of information. I see people on every single Zoom that Power does. They spend 20 to 25 hours a week like they're professional Zoom attendees, but then they're not going out. They're not collecting utility bills. They're not doing the income generating actions and activities. So I implore you, this is something CJ and I, I, I do with each other probably every like 60, 90 days. We kind of come up with a list of things that we're dragging on that we know we need to get done. We just haven't done. We hold ourselves accountable. We usually give ourselves like a 10 day window. And if we don't get that stuff done by whenever our deadline is, then it becomes a next quarter, holiday, January project. Start coming up with that list of things you need to clear off your schedule. You need to clear off your day. You need to clear off your brain so you can focus on the things that matter the most. Something that I've been working on since convention, I'm not done with it yet. Um, as I'm trying to create what my perfect schedule is, I want to know what is my perfect schedule, how many hours a week, what days, what times, what activities. And when I can become as dialed into that as I need to be, I'm going to know every time I get an email, which I don't check, as you guys know, a text message, a phone call, I'm going to know, is that going to serve my goal or is it going to hold me back from achieving what I want to do? And when I become laser focused like that, that's when I'm by far at my best. You know, I I, I heard Curtis talking a little bit, but my signal was really bad around my house till I get home. Um, but something that he said was, you know, what Kathy King did last week was without anything new. There was nothing that she had gained access to that she didn't already have. A lot of the time, it's just a switch. As you've heard me say a million times, and I'll say it a million more, confidence is transferable. When you have it, it transfers onto the person you're talking to. When you don't, it also transfers onto the person you're talking to. The faster that you can get these things 
aligned with your goals, the faster that you're going to move, bar none, it's not even close. So I'm not knocking that list of things that I just talked about because I've done all of them and they all work. I'm saying the job's not done once you knock out that list. The job begins once you do that list and then you attach it with action and ideally massive action. Those little spurts of massive action that we've talked about, 90 minutes straight of outbound messaging, um, something that happened uh, at the convention. I had somewhere between, let's say, 10 to 13 people come up to me, people that I didn't know. I've never spoke to them. They're not in our group. We don't work with them. We have nothing in common outside of we're in solar or we're in power. Um, they did the orb that Don and I did. And they were like, it changed my business. I was part-time. I was spinning my wheels. I did this. It was an hour and a half. It set up my week exactly how you said it would, and it changed its trajectory of where I was headed. But most of the people on our own team didn't do that. You know, everything that you need is there. I, I think I said it from stage, or I said it uh, by the by the outside after convention in. There was so many things that we got access to this last week that we didn't have going into the San Diego event. But all of these things that were accomplished, Drew being the top closer, you know, Wally's million dollars, just all kinds of different things. All these things were accomplished without any of those additional things that we just received. You know, this is all cherries on top. This isn't what you needed to get what you want. This is just going to help you get there a little bit quicker. But it all rises and falls on taking action. The most knowledgeable person in solar, if they don't pick up their phone and reach out to people, is going to have a bank account of somebody who has never sold a deal. You got you you got to find what your middle area is between getting ready to get ready and taking massive action, because everybody's usually pretty good at this one, and this one can delay the massive action. The faster that you remove that chain holding you back of taking that massive action the faster you're going to get to those goals. Chris, I think I heard you talking about uh, like a year and a half calendar. Um, yep. You know, uh, Orlando's a year out. Um, yep. Next week on this on this call, something that we're going to talk about that, that Chris and Don for sure are fantastic at is if we want a 12-month goal, what do we what do we need specifically to set it? What are the actions we need to do quarterly? What are the actions we need to do daily? Because our Q4 behaviors and our Q2 behaviors are very different. And the faster that we can make sure that you understand the behaviors in the season of solar, the more likely that you're going to have high quality, successful conversations for somebody who just says the same thing every day of the year, expecting that it's going to net them the same result that it does right now, when two weeks ago, the biggest utility bill hit almost every mailbox in the country. That doesn't, that conversation isn't the same in January. Mm -hmm. So the faster that you can be aware of these changes, the faster you can prepare yourself and really level up your game and your conversations to make sure that you're having the most impactful for everybody. Um, so with that, I know we got about seven minutes left. If we have questions, either raise your hand, unmute. Um, there is not going to be an office hour today because there is an Everbright training. So we're I'm going to go to that. Um, Everbright, Sonova are the two things on my list that I have to, have to, have to get much better at. Chris Mitchell is tired and Tony is tired of my random text messages about leasing and PPAs. I need to figure this shit out. So I'm going very much into the Everbright and Sonova training. One company is not better than the other. It just depends on what your homeowner needs and they both have different coverage areas. So we're going to want to get familiar with these things or at least be working with mentors that we know that are. Solar is changing. Solar sales are changing. The amateurs are getting shaken out. It's not easy like it used to be. We're not throwing 0.99s at people anymore. This is changing, but it's giving our industry uh, a great chance to have a little bit of a slowdown and take that bath and wash off the stink that is so needed in solar. So this is a very good time for the professionals to stand out. And this is the time to really start up in our game and having those quality conversations. Five minutes left. Kathy, I see your hand up. Fire away. 
I want to share, I wanted to piggyback on what you said about Everbright and Sonova. For the ones that don't know Sonova, one of my saving graces was the graces this week was when I was talking to one of the clients, I knew their debt to income was going to be high. They had just bought a house, they had a car, and they only made 50000 So I was like, okay. So we ran Everbright, or not Everbright, we ran SunGage, and they failed credit. I instantly was able to jump to Sonova because I knew Sonova does not check debt to income. And if I didn't have that training, I would have been panicking, wondering who else I could put, where else I could put them. But one of the big caveats of Sonova is they don't check debt to income. And I've been finding that I've been running across people that own like three properties. Some people with 800 credit scores have been getting kicked by some of these lenders because of their debt to income. So Sonova, yep. And I had to move them to Sonova, one of mine from uh, July. So for anyone that does not have Sonova training, even though Sonova is not our BFFs, they do fit us. They do fit a purpose, and you do need to be trained on it. Just wanted to share that, Jeff. Yep. Make yeah, sure you absolutely. jump in. If you, if you haven't already, make sure you jump in. There is a third-party TPO training certification that's in Power University. It covers a lot of those things, and I think it'll answer a lot of those other questions and help you get set up correctly. Uh, make sure if you haven't taken that training yet, if you're already Sonova certified, it's irrelevant. You still need to go back and take it, right? So hop in, take the chat class if you haven't taken it already. Jeff, one question that did pop up in the chat that I caught, and I want to make sure you had a chance to answer it. You referenced the uh, orb training, and we had one of our newbies jump in and say, what is that? If you could either point them to the training, tell them where they could get it, or explain it real quick. That came up in the chat a second ago. So if you if you go to the power formula, it's I believe it's listed in the first seven days or the first 48 hours. It'll be uh, it'll be noted on there. It says bill collector blitz. So the bill collector blitz is what we lived with two and a half years ago. It's what we would do almost on a monthly basis. It's a great way, especially for your spare time, part time people to invest 90 minutes into very specific uh, guided activities to set up your calendar for the week. I think tier three should be doing it. I think tier one should be doing it. I think I'm gonna start doing this every two weeks. Uh, if you go into the knowledge base, just type in formula, it's four moolah. Um, I don't know if they did that on purpose because if you do that, you're gonna get a moolah. Um, but just go in there. I, it probably has a direct site as well, but just go into the knowledge base and uh, just type in formula. That'll yeah. pull up. I would download it. I would print it out. I would keep that by your workspace and just I'll constantly refer back to that. Um, and then a lot of the, the play.power videos are based off of formula. So if you're looking at the formula and you have questions, um, I would first go to the play.power and see if that question's already answered in there. And then if not, then I would reach out to the person that you're working with. Um, but answers are abundant at this point. You know, they're putting tons of training videos out. When we were in California the last time, they were basically reading line by line bullet points of formula and then just shooting us, responding back to whatever it said of how we do that, how we handle it. So there is an absolute ton of uh of great information in there and i know there's some really good looking dude named named john that's in there with a bunch of videos giving a bunch of value and content out so take advantage of this stuff you guys it's there for you to learn it's there for you to take advantage of and then to go out and implement it this is stuff that you can listen to it for 90 seconds and then turn around and do it immediately you don't have to wait there's no delays and then um and then lastly kind of kind of like chris said that TPO training, just get in there and do it. There's a ton of good information. And then obviously with the, with the, uh, with the knowledge base, if you type in Sonova, if you type in Everbright, it is very detailed breakdowns of the programs they have, the differences. There's a spreadsheet of where they're available. So something that I, something that I would do for those of you that are virtual, that are not just selling in one specific market, is depending on your talk track, like mine was very anti-lease pro purchase. 
So there's things that I've had to walk back and change. And because I'm still getting familiar, I'm not remembering what programs are available in what market as soon as I just get a quick discovery call to do. So I'm having a more generic conversation, letting people know, Chris, just so you know, I've accessed every single program in the state. One's not better than the other. It's just going to depend on what suits what you're looking to do and what you're looking to achieve going solar. Your specific scenario is going to be different than other people. So that's why we're going to go through about 10 minutes of questions. Um, there's things I've had to remove. So listen to your pitch. You might be hurting yourself because you can't talk negatively about a, a program. And then that ends up being the program that suits them the best. That's really shooting yourself in the foot. So listen, we're right at the top of the hour. Good to see everybody. Sorry I was late, but luckily my dog is, is better. Uh, one ambassador check later and I have left the vet. Um, so I will, uh, I will see everybody soon. Take care. All right. Have a good day, guys.